Hey friends, I have come up with a framework to transform board game rule books into Alexa or Google Home Mini interactive experiences to where you could ask Alexa or Google Home to give you a specific rule or quote a rule or give you some more information. And the best part is you don't need to be a developer. I've done the development for you. All you need is a template for rules in a conversational format, and I will convert it to two different applications. All you do is upload it to either site. Alexa, ask Mage Board Game. Welcome. Say cancel to exit this application. What do these symbols mean? The top left number is speed, middle number is attack, and bottom is defense. To the right are ability nexus, and bottom right is damage. So you can see if they do have a tablet or a phone, you can have an interactive experience where you can show pictures of the rule, you can show parts of the rule book, and you can have a big block of text for where the rule is located, different parts that are related to the rule, or other rules that are related to this rule. So you can have this nice interactive experience if they're on a phone or a tablet. So you come up with the board game template, then you run it through my site, and my site will kick out code for either system. So now you're completely set up. And the best part is, it's all open source. So if you need to customize something, you're all set. So need to keep track of this guy's health versus that guy's health? No problem. I got you covered. I have an example for that that does session variables so that when anybody makes a call, I can constantly keep track of who has what health. If you need to roll a special kind of dice, I've got you covered. I have a dice routine that can roll dice. You can customize this to be any type of dice. You can customize this not only to be dice, but to be this guy against this guy, or this team against that team dice, instead of just random dice. Keep track of score. Got you covered. Again, use the session variables inside of my template. Need to user has a question about a symbol on a card or they want to know what this number means or they want to know what these number means you don't have to go back to the rule book you can tell them exactly what it means by querying Alexa or Google and you're all set so this is a complete system that you can generate a rule book out of and have an interactive experience in about 10 minutes Obviously, there's going to be some work involved with getting the rules into my template format, but let's look real quick at how the process works. How does Melee work? Rule section 016.1. At the conclusion of any order where a hex contains both opponents, Melee ensues. Boxed firepower numbers and action bonuses help. Attacker has 9 firepower, defender has 3 defense. This looks promising for the attacker. What cards did you pull? Attacker rolled a 7, defender rolled a 4. Attacker defeated the defender, 16 versus 7. So how many victory points do I get for defeating this unit? Platoon as two victory points, teams and runners are one, and a leader as one plus his command. So how do you make a template file? A template file is just plain text with a rule section and then another rule section and then another rule section. So each section is separated by a blank line. The first line is an exclamation point which tells my interpreter that this is a rule name and then the actual rule name which is one single word no spaces, no punctuation, no special characters at all. So it's just one single word, no space. So for movement, for example, we'll call it movement rules. The next lines, next few lines, are things that the user would say to get to this particular rule. Now remember that these devices are actually configured with an artificial intelligence that will route them to the rule even though they don't say the exact thing that's on your statement. So if you ask about movement points, it'll still route you here even though you don't have the exact statement that they said. It, it interprets it and it'll get there. So any amount of statements that will get you to the movement. For example, how does movement work? 
when can I move, how do I move, etc. So you put those on separate lines right after the rule name, which goes on top. Now at the bottom is going to be your actual rule. So let's say, for example, we're going to do movement right here. So obviously we can't put this whole thing in there. We'll be reading to the user for half an hour. So we're going to summarize it. You may move during a regular turn while not resting. You can reveal map tiles while moving. Movement must be completed before taking any action. And then we'll refer them to the page that it's on and say page 5. Of course, you can add extra text if you want to. And of course, if they're on a tablet, you can actually embed the entire rule section in the rich text segment of there along with the page number or a picture of the page here and the rule summary up there. So the, the options are limitless. And you let them know the page number in case they want to actually open the book and look at this for a lot more of the detail. So here is our completed rule template. Now we get this plus all the other rules separated out and then we run it through my web page. My web page will kick out bot code. The bot code you then upload to Amazon and start testing your new application. And of course it's open source. So you're gonna go in there and modify however you want it. You can add sound effects. You can have Alexa emphasize some words that you want emphasized. It's all up to you. The possibilities are limitless at this point. If you want to code, you can. If you don't want to code, then you just get your actual bot and start playing with it. Make sure it works. And once you're done with all the different rule sections, you can publish it on the site for users to experience an interactive rule book rather than a bunch of different rule books for a bunch of different expansions. There's no limit here. You can add the Lost Legion. You can add shades. I know the ultimate game is coming out. You can have the whole thing into one interactive experience. So that's how it works, and those are the general guidelines. Again, your biggest problem that you're going to have if you have a problem translating the rules is don't use any special characters. Don't use any punctuation, question marks, exclamation points. Don't use those. You can only use periods and commas, and you can only use those in the actual rule. So the good news as well, if you have a PDF rule book, you can just copy and paste the text straight into your rule. Just make sure you remove all the exclamation points, question marks, open brackets, open parentheses, anything like that. Just remove those before you proceed. But other than that, it's a fairly simple template, and you could probably kick out a thin rule book in a few hours. So if you want to get your iPad, and dictate it into your iPad or your tablet or your phone and then process post process on your computer you're fine so you could sit on the couch and watch TV and create an interactive experience with template and then go straight to the um, straight to the code after it's generated and do whatever you'd like so again this is a no code solution if you like the minimal rulebook experience. If you want to code, that's fine. You can come up with fully automated bots. So you could have a solo bot, etc. So in part two video, linked in the description, I will go step by step and walk you through deploying your code and translating this template into the actual bot and then putting it on Amazon and then testing it out. I will see you there.